Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So today I got a pretty insane thrift haul to show you. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, I went to the thrift store that is cash only and doesn't give any deals, no discounts or anything. But they had a ton of one particular toy. It wasn't cheap. I may have made a mistake. Uh, I spent a pretty penny on this stuff. But I just couldn't pass up the potential opportunity to see what I can do with this huge lot of toys. And I'll show it to you. But before I get to that, let me show you the other stuff I got. Uh, I got an honorable mention item for my Blu-ray collection. I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. I think this is the second remake Turtles movie. I have not seen this one yet. I think I saw the first one of the remakes uh, on TV. Um, so I might check this one out at some point. $3.99, add that to my Blu-ray collection. Picked up a lot of good Nerf again. Uh, here was a bag for $2.99. It's got some, uh, it's got one Nerf 12 round magazine. It's got some uh, new darts in there. Just in a generic darts that kind of darts that I usually sell with my Nerf guns so I can use those for that but then it had uh, what looks like uh, I don't know some kind of Nerf bandolier or I don't know what this thing is uh, it looks like a tactical like ammo pouch carrier or something so anyways for $2.99 I got a magazine some darts and this thing we'll see if that's worth it and I got some pretty good individual Nerf blasters again today they're falling everywhere Got uh, another strong arm to add to the strong arm lots for party packs, $1.99. And another disruptor for $1.99. This thing seems like it, it sounds like it's modified or something. Uh, yeah, this thing has a really strong sound to it. Seems like it shoots a little bit stronger than a regular disruptor. I suspect it might have been modified or something. It was Dad's gun. <laughs> Dad. Nerf expert guys, uh, let me know. Can you tell by the sound? I mean, let me see. I got another disruptor. So, here's a other disruptor. Okay, that doesn't sound so strong. Here's the one right here. That has a really loud... Uh, clack to it I think this has a modified spring in it other individual blasters I should have passed on this one it was $3.99 but I got another flip period it looks really nice and clean anyways I love zombie strike stuff to sell so we'll just keep adding keep making lots I was in a spending mood you'll see whenever I show you here the stuff at the end <laughs> Uh, then I got me another surge fire. This was this one is a bit dingy and beat up, but it's only $2.99, so pick that surge fire up. And got another bag of vagabond for $3.99. I just sold uh, my uh, Doomlands lot for a hundred bucks uh, of the ones that I had gotten a few thrifts ago. So uh, that included two vagabonds. So now I have another vagabond to work on a Doomlands eventually. My floor, this place is getting insane. I've got to do some organizing. I've got like, I don't know. It looks like a donation center. <laughs> All right, then I picked up uh, another Modulus ECS-10 for $2.99. Those are always nice. And then also another Duminator for $3.99. I like the Duminators. Big and bulky, but I think people like them. It's a good inclusion in a Zombie Strike lot. The Duminator always makes sure it's got this handle because the handle does come off to where you can put it on different sides. So a lot of times you might see it like this. I would recommend not picking it up unless it has this handle because you're hardly, you're, I don't think, the chances of you finding a replacement handle are, are pretty slim. And finally we got a Hyperfire Elite for $5.99 with the 25 round magazine. Hopefully that one has nice in the battery compartment and everything, and that would be a good one because people like these fully automatic hyper fires. 
Oh uh, yeah, check out this insanity. <laughs> I think I have a a bit of a an issue here. I need to start getting this stuff listed up. I've done some of it, but yeah, uh, place is getting overrun. Okay. Okay, let me show you this insanity that I got today. Here we go. So, <laughs> I went to the toy section and I started seeing all these bags. This one was behind the counter. But all these bags like this. And what these are are Mega Blocks. And these are sets of Mega Blocks Dragons. And Mega Blocks like Pirates of the Caribbean and stuff. And I tried to make a deal with the manager because I was like trying to make a point. I'm like, look at this. You guys even... Here's the, all the manuals they put in a separate bag and charge you $4.99. Who's going to buy these manuals and not have to buy this stuff? I was like, can you, is, there's no way you can make me a package deal. And this thrift store, they will not budge at all. I spoke to the manager and like she will not do anything for me. She's like, basically, she said, basically, this is a good deal already. Take it or buy it all or, you know, and pay full price or just don't buy it. <laughs> so maybe she got me. I guess I'm a sucker because this stuff is not price like super che ultra cheap you know like you see here's a bag that says $12.99 there's a lot of bags that say $12.99 some of them are cheaper like the manuals were $4.99 here's a $5.99 bag uh the ones that had all the one that had all the dragons that I felt like I had to get is one of the most expensive one $29.99 and then back here is this big bundled up uh this is actually a Mega Blocks chest see that that was $49.99, but it has all these big platforms and stuff that I, I think obviously I would need. Uh, here's a Pirates of the Caribbean, big, whoops, stuff's falling off, big platform, $7.99. Uh, so I talked to the lady that prices stuff and puts out the toys. She says that she tried, they, she think, they think they kind of got the sets like kept together, I doubt that. That was another point I was trying to make. I'm like, you know, I'm going to have to do a lot of work trying to figure out what's what and if I have how much I have of everything. But there's just like a ton of this stuff. Bunch of minifigures in there. Here's one that has, this has dragons and stuff in it. Uh, just a huge lot of stuff. Here's a funny thing. Here's the $29.99 bag. This had all the dragons in it. A few, a month or two, or, you know, maybe a month ago, I found this dragon at uh, my other thrift store for like a couple bucks, but it was missing the head. Well, here's that same dragon again, but guess what? The head's missing again. Hopefully it's in here in this bag somewhere. That would be nice, or amongst all this stuff. But kind of repeated the exact same problem. <laughs> This one has at least some extra shoulder pads on it and stuff. But uh, yeah, Mega Blocks Dragons and Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, yeah, I got my work cut out for me on this stuff. And considering how much I paid, I mean, it might be questionable whether it's worth it because of the amount of work that's gonna be put in, in it, into it. But uh, hopefully when it's all said and done, it ends up being worth it. This is just something I'm gonna have to spend some time on. I'm gonna. I got the, hopefully in theory, I've got the most of the manuals here. So this manual, dang, this manual, Dragon's Crystal Wars, that goes with this chest, I know that. So basically, these, this play sets should uh, go with that war chest over there. So what do you guys think? I know that's insane. Uh, it's a pretty insane, probably what I paid, probably around $200 for all that stuff. So, uh I'm invested in it now, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, I could see how somebody would easily pass on something like that, though, because, I mean, if they were giving away, that might be a different story, but I am paying a, a little bit of change for it. But we'll start looking stuff up. Uh, well, I need to get, I need to work on this stuff. I'm going to put this, I'm going to have to put this dragon stuff, uh, this uh, Mega Block stuff to the side, you know, uh, and deal with that once I get a bunch of the other stuff dealt with listed up cleared out and then we'll start getting into this stuff but i have no shortage of inventory my death pile is this is my 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 
eBay room is my death pile now. So I got to get on the ball. I need to start listing, uh, listing every day, which is something I don't hadn't been doing. Uh, at least list a couple listings a day and it needs to be the stuff that's in the way get it listed up uh, so as I make sales I'm clearing stuff out but I need to uh, get this stuff listed up because that's never gonna sell if I don't list it and I've got a lot of good merchandise so I should be making good sales which I am but I should be making more huh that one looks pretty awesome that one's got to be worth something right thanks huge Okay, so the $50 price tag on this case of this chest makes a little more sense because there's another bag in the bottom that I couldn't see. This is full of nothing but dragons, so that's got to be a good bag right there. Uh, all the big, huge dragons. So there's probably where a lot of the money's at, hopefully. All right, I got 10 strong arms that are good now. With 100 darts, let's try a birthday party pack of 10 with 100 darts. See how that goes. Check out these dragons. Man, those things are awesome. So I got the area more situated. Still got a stack of nerf. I'm gonna go through that. And I got all my dragon stuff I'll have to worry about later. <laughs> or my mega blocks. All right, here's another lot I'm gonna put together. Bunch of zombie strike, Duminator, a brain saw, the one with the missing handle, a nice sling fire, two hammer shots, two flip furies. Uh, just a, I forgot what this one's called, but a little single shot zombie strike pistol. And 100 darts. Let's see if we can make a $100 sale with that one. All right, now I'll try a smaller one with the remaining zombie strike I got. Uh, it's got a sling fire, a couple hammer shots, and a flip fury, and 40 darts. We'll see what we can do with that one. All right, I guess I'll do the rebel. I'm going to do a little rebel lot. These all test out great. These are some good blasters. Uh, this one here didn't work good, so I might, I don't know, I might throw it up for parts or something. It seems like the flywheel isn't consistently working. But these three are great, and I think I can make a good sale on these. All right, I'm going to do a battery-operated, you know, automatic, semi-automatic lot. We got the Rapid Strike that's fully automatic, as well as the Hyper Fire Elite. I got a 25-round drum that they can put on any one of those, and then two 10-round banana clips with the uh, Demolisher 2-in-1 as well, 50 darts. Hopefully, we can make like a $70, $80 sale out of that. We'll see. All right, got some more sales. Um... Sold uh, Mechanex, Vintage Masters of the Universe Mechanex Club. Total price paid by the customer, $9.61. And we sold uh, this from my embroidery stuff, this Dinosaur Fun CD, multi-format CD, Easy Sew Designs. That uh, sold for $11.12, total paid by the customer. And uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth, sealed DVD that I, from my media lot from several years ago. That uh, These things just keep selling. Uh, $11.04 total paid by the customer. Uh, this vintage Master of the Universe Castle Grayskull elevator piece sold for uh, $15.95 total paid by the customer. Then we got a little Nerf Zombie Strike lot with a Sling Fire, a Flip Fury, two Hammer Shots, and a magazine for the Sling Fire, and 40 darts. Um, that lot sold for $59.98 total paid by the customer. All right, I sold this Nerf Doomlands lot. Uh, it's a pretty good one. We got the, uh, oh, what's this one called? Oh, yeah, Desolator. Two Vagabonds. The uh, Long Arm. And the Big Judge. Huge blaster. Uh, and 60 darts. 60 darts. I put that lot together, and somebody in California, there's some kind of business that has bought from me before. And it's one of those places where they're like, hey, please include the invoice number on the box and all this stuff you can tell it's almost like an automated message i don't know what they're buying it for anyways uh it's great for me because it's in california and uh they paid full asking price 99 dollars 98 total paid by the customer <sighs> got a box that's gonna work this is what goodwill shipped ca that castle great skull in Pretty easy. Uh, 
13 pounds. UPS be kind to me, but again, it's going local. So not bad. Sold some more Nerf, uh, the dart tags that I recently got. And, uh, from the thrift store. I think that'll be in this video actually. Uh, this style right here is good, uh, both in Dart Tag and then Rebel makes the same one. Where do I got that? Oh, it's over here. Uh, the Rebel blasters that I got recently too, I put on uh, auction and uh, somebody bid on them for $65 already. And that included one that's very similar to this. Uh, these, this one really works good. It's uh, automatic and two of these little pistols. Uh, but anyways, those right there sold for uh, $35.96 total paid by the customer. Four pounds. Here's some media and sewing stuff. Uh, we got Dakota Collectibles, Jazzy Jeans 2, Embroidery Disc. Uh, that sold for $17.77. Uh, Barnaby Jones, the first season. Uh, that sold for $15.15 and Baywatch season five. Uh, where is it? Uh, 1763 total paid by the customer. All right. Here's a masters of the universe item. Uh, my extra castle gray skull draw bridge or jaw bridge as they call it. Uh, I've already got a nice one for my castle gray skull. So sell this extra piece. Uh, these vintage Motu parts are great. Um, this door sold for $31.13. Total price paid by the customer. Protect that in eight by six by four inch box. Six ounces for the Castle Grace Gold door. Other Motu stuff I sold. Uh, I took all the really junky figures. These were really pretty poor condition, especially like this tongue lasher, the the tongue won't even come out like these are really dirty anyways i took those some odds and ends parts that i got from um vintage lots uh, you know i keep the good stuff from my collection or to sell individually like from that lot there was a, a nice skeletor so i put it for sale individually but uh so these scraps here i put on auction for 50 bucks i got one bid uh, could have been a little bit better, but that's okay. Uh, $55 and uh, 11 cents total paid by the customer. Here's an interesting little toy I sold that uh, DWA uh, How to Train Your Dragon Dragon. <laughs> Picked that up for, I think, a dollar or two dollars from the thrift store. Put it on auction and it did get a bid. $21.59 total paid by the customer. All right, then I sold those Merrells I recently got from the thrift store too. I think I paid $7.99 for them. Uh, these Merrells, people still like these. Uh, $39.98 total paid by the customer. Uh, with a pair of shoes like this, a lot of times, like, or I don't sell shoes much anymore, but I used to put them in just a mailer a lot of times. So nothing's really going to happen to them, their shoes. I mean, they can be packaged like that, in my opinion. Done it many, many times. Actually, that makes it that makes a difference from two pounds and three pounds if you do it this way. So now it's going to be only a two pound shipment. If I would have used a box, it would have been in the three pound range. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about any interesting eBay tips or tricks or leave a comment in the comment section for anything you like. Collecting, uh, eBay, whatever. Hope you enjoy and have a good one.